Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we display dynamic images in VIP report using RTF template. We'll try to understand what is the query behind it, the data model. And uh, there are two ways of displaying the dynamic image. One is using FY in stream syntax, other one is using the URL syntax. And let's see the final output, how it looks, looks like. The first thing is what we are doing is we are trying to get a blob image, which is available in the per images table. Okay, so we have just joined three tables from the HRMS module and we have joined respectively and to get the first name, last name, image name and the image. So this column per underscore I dot image is the column which is having the blob data, which is of image format. And we're just trying to pull that. And as of now, I just hard coded so that I will not get all the images. I just try to get only the first nine records. This is a query behind the employee image. Now coming to the next thing. So once you place the query in the data model, so we'll be getting the output like this. Here, if you observe the image, this image is a blob content or base64 content. So this is how it looks like, which is a binary content and which is of you know like not a, which is not a readable thing. And once we get the output like this, just export the data. And using that XML, what we do is we just insert the like a create a template and load the data. And using table using a wizard, just create the table like this. And now this is the last column which we want to display it as an image. Okay. And when you display an image, we have to consider what is the format of it. Nothing but what is the size of it you want to display. It can it's like a two centimeters or one inch or two inches like that. We have to consider right length and width of the image. So in our case, what we have done is, as I said, you like uh, we have to use a syntax called fo in stream for an object. So in this one, what we have to do is just need to mention like for this image attribute, just click on that field browser and change the value respectively like this fo colon in stream for an object content type is called image slash jpg. Mention the height and the width in respect to format. It can be inches, it can be centimeters, or it can be percentage also. In our case, we just followed the inches logic, and then you mention the the element which is having the blob content. So in our case, image is attribute which is having the blob content. Just mention that and close the f in stream object. That's it. And this will take care of displaying the image appropriately. And this particular column, you just change it accordingly. Like nothing but when you say two inches, it's like around five centimeters, right? Five by five centimeters. Just increase the width accordingly so that the image will correctly fit into that particular table cell. And the next one is displaying the image using a URL. So let us say if you want to read, uh, like uh, what you call render the particular image based on a URL, what we can do is just as of now, initially, we just insert any of the dummy image and then click on that particular dummy image and click on picture and then you click on all text and just paste the paste the URL like this and you just the syntax is like a URL colon the flower braces inside the course you have to mention the URL of the image that's it so at runtime it will display the image as we want now if you just see the final output so like this is Apple company logo and this is how the data looks like okay now let's go to the instance and uh, let's try to work on this example so i'll just create new data model i'll copy the query save this HRMS employee images DM and mention the SQL query G underscore EMP data source either FSEM or HCM both will work. Save it data. I'll try to fetch the first, of course, it will fetch only nine records. I'll try to fetch all of them. Click on table view. We should be able to see the binary content in the image column and the remaining are text columns or number columns. Export. And we got the XML now. Copy this XML into the respective folder where you are working on. Now I'll just create a new template. Open MS Word. Blank document. Save the file. Save the RTF file. So we'll just create our uh, template with the name HRMS employee images, TMPL, RTF. Okay. 
So now let us follow the first thing, syntax like FO in stream logic. So click on BI Publisher, load the sample XML data. Now using table using a wizard, just create the respective columns. Next and finish. So this image column, what we want to do is you just want to increase the width. Like I click on layout and I'll just make it at five centimeters. Okay. So now next thing is click on this image element, click on BI Publisher, click on Field Browser. Now initially it is just simply an image tag which will display binary content if you try to display. Let us say before changing, let us display the HTML content and see how it looks like. It's simply displaying the binary content, like uh, the actual or uh, you know, like I can say a non-readable content, which is a binary content, which is of no use, right? So now what we do is so we'll copy this particular syntax, FO in stream object, copy this and click on field browser, click on this text and just here paste it, click on update, close it. Now let us see the content now. We can try HTML or PDF, both should work. Yep, perfect. So of course it is not displaying perfectly in the HTML, but just see the PDF. So you'll find a little bit variation between the PDF output as well as HTML output, right? If you see the PDF output, it is perfectly fitting in the, the particular table cell because we are displayed, we have, as per our syntax, we are intended to display only five centimeters or two inches of the data and it is perfectly fitting in this one. Okay, now coming to the next one, using a URL, how do you display, right? So I'll just try to display that in the header part, I'll just display insert, I'll just, in the header part, I'll insert a dummy image, click on pictures. I'll just insert one sample image and here, click on this particular sample image. Click on alt text. So in the alt text, what you do is you can mention any of the valid valid URL which is having a logo. So here, if you observe this particular one, if I just copy this URL, it will display an Apple logo like this. So I'll just copy this particular URL and in the alt text, just mention this and just try it again. Now click on BI Publisher and just try. Now it should display the logo of Apple. So this is how it works. Okay. So now he Using this FO in stream logic, so what we can do is like we can dynamically retrieve the data, and of, of course, you can use it for the purpose of dynamically displaying a signatures. As of now, we're just trying to display image, so the same logic will work for like a retrieving a dynamic content from database table. Okay, so maybe we can register the same log same report. So, what we can do is I'll just create, click on create report. Click on report editor. And finish. HRMS employee image, just yes, report. Click on upload. Okay, let's see. Yep. And just click on view report now. You should be able to see the nine records. Okay, as I said you like HTML format output may not be perfect. Maybe try PDF. Even if it, if at all if it is having any issue in the layout, what you can do just adjust the cell width accordingly so that it should work fine. It's, here it seems fine, but maybe you can again fine tune and you know, like you can increase the width accordingly. It should be fine. Try Excel. Yep. 
right? So we could see that like all the outputs are working fine. HTML, PDF, Excel. Okay, so this is all about displaying the dynamic images in the RTF template in BIP report. Thank you.